In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply lipstick so that you can avoid your lips bleeding, your lipstick bleeding into the fine lines and wrinkles on the top of your lip, which is so much fun, isn't it, as we know. So first of all, I would probably recommend that you give your lips a bit of a, um, even like a bit of an exfoliation. So you might want to use even, if you're not using a skincare exfoliation, you might want to use a little bit of sugar and a bit of water and just scrub that around your lips. It's a, that's a pretty easy way to do a lip exfoliation. Um, for me, um, if I'm actually focusing on my lips, I'll put on maybe a little bit of lip plumping cream. So this is a good one that just gives you a little bit of a natural boost in your lips. You want to make sure that you've got a lot of moisture in your lips. Um, and you also want to make sure that you're moisturized up around the top of your lip as well. So we actually have this um, eye serum, which is an eye and lip serum actually. And um, you can literally just use this to put over top of your lip. So fine lines and wrinkles here um, will just plump out. So that's going to be quite helpful to um, what we're about to do. But the main thing is, is that you want to have your lips feeling nice and clear. So they're exfoliated and you want to make sure that they're nice and moisturized and then what you want to do is make sure that they are concealed. So we're just going to do that right now. Any concealer will do but this is the one that I'm going to use today because it's a really good um, quite mattifying concealer. It's going to dry really quickly. So I don't want a ton that concealer I just want enough um, that it's like I've got lipstick on and then I'm just going to use a tissue just to press that and then I'm going to use a small brush to excuse me I'm going to use a small brush and I'm going to actually dust my lips with a bit of translucent powder dust that off so now they're dry to the touch but not um, dry and flaky dry just dry so that when you put your lipsticks and your lip liners and things on it's just going to stay really really well the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a lip liner so it doesn't have to be exactly identical to the lipstick that you're using but um, if you've got one that's as close as possible that's really really good you just don't want your lip liner to be heaps darker than your lipstick So I'm just going to follow my lip line all around and um, we're focusing, we're going to do the whole lips, we're going to colour in all of the lips, but focusing on the outside of the lip for, to start with because it's the waxiness of the pencil that's going to help to keep the lipstick within your lip area. So here we go. And there we go. With red lipstick and red lips, lip liner, I do suggest that you have um, cotton buds at the ready, which I don't happen to have today, because it's very easy to overdraw or just go a little bit wonky on your lips. With red, you can see it, it's so much more obvious. So um, having cotton buds and a little bit of foundation or a little bit of concealer just to help you wipe away any, um, or just roll off anything that you've overdrawn or gone outside of the lines. So today I went outside of the lines just while I put it on, I've turned my camera off so I could just do this really quickly but I just put a little bit of foundation on a tissue and then I just wiped away what went over the lines so that's how you keep that all nice and clean so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my red lipstick so I'm showing you this in red lips today because generally when you bleed into your lip area it's only the darker colors that people will notice anyway so 
I'm showing you red also because red's a colour that we probably might like to be able to wear but we feel a bit scared to because of the bleeding. So I recommend that you have a lipstick brush. They're always very stained, my lipstick brushes, because it's very hard to get bright colours out of lip, lip brushes. But here we go. So you just got a lot more control with red lipstick. You've got a lot more control of keeping it inside the lip line area that you've already drawn on when you use a lipstick brush. So really, this is not an everyday kind of lipstick wear because most of us just race out the door as soon as we, you know, we pop on our lipstick and race out the door. But if you want a red lipstick look for a nighttime or an event or anything like that, it's very well worth taking the time to get it right and so that it doesn't bleed. Right, rubbing my lips together and then I'm going to take a tissue, so a Kleenex, and I'm going to, these are quite thick tissues, so you probably actually want to find one that's a bit more thin, otherwise you just want to separate off a really thin piece of tissue and you want to pop that up against your lips. So first of all, actually I'll show you this, first of all you want to press down on your tissue. Take away some of that excess and then you want to take your little powder brush again take your thin one fine piece of um, Kleenex and then pop it up against your lips and what we're going to do is we're going to um, use our translucent powder and we're going to dot some of that onto a brush a little brush I'm going to put this over my lips and then I'm going to dust it over So that's um, set that lipstick without actually any powder being on it, which is really good. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take that lipstick again, take a little bit of lipstick, put that on the lip brush, and I'm going to do the exact same thing again. So layer number two, I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Okay, so that's layer number two and I'm going to take that same tissue, oh, actually I'm not, I'm going to take a tissue and I'm going to press my lips up over it again. And then I'm going to take my single tissue again and I'm going to do the same thing with my translucent powder again. So that's done and then how I might like to finish that off is, and this is up to you, but this is very dry now so I'm going to show you, there's not a lot of transferring that's going to happen from this lipstick now, but you know when you're drinking, I've made myself a coffee for this, um, when you're drinking coffee or when you're, um, you've got anything with moisture up against your lips during the day, if you're kissing, if you're kissing, I'm not kissing today but I'm drinking coffee so if you do any of those things, there's going to be a slight bit of transfer. But even then, tiniest little amount, it's not going to be taking all your lipstick off. It's going to take all day. And then you've also got the protection of having the lip liner underneath it. And you've got all the layers. So it's going to stay on really, really well. 
and what you're going to find is it's just not going to go into those um, lines on your lips as easily. So I am going to put a little bit of setting spray on right now, so I'm going to do that. Um, you could actually, probably something that would work a, a little bit better is putting a little bit of um, setting spray onto a brush so that it's just in a defined area, so you can do that. A little bit of setting spray onto a brush and just dab that. over your lip area but what you do not want to do is you do not want to apply lip gloss so do not apply lip gloss after you've done all of this work to have your lipstick set and staying so that it's not going to creep into your um, lip line lip lines so if you use um, a lip gloss then that literally the oiliness of that is going to undo all of the setting that we've done for our lipstick and then you're going to find that your Lipstick is going to be creeping into the lines in your lips, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So, don't apply lipstick. Do apply some setting spray if that's what you want to do. Alright, I hope this tutorial helped um, those of you who like to wear lipstick and not have it bleed into the lines in your lips. And the more I do this tutorial, the more I'm like, I need to get that tooth fixed. That tooth is, oh, I'm not even going to show it to you. It's so bad. I need to get that tooth fixed. It's not good for doing lipstick videos to see that. Ugh. Anyway, that's another story for another day. Alright, so hopefully that helped you and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.